Let's say change the music. Peace, 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 family. Grand rising. Grand awakening. Welcome back to the daydream. We finna do some sun salutations. I'm gonna do like good five minutes, which would be three, mile, three rounds on one leg, three rounds on the other leg, alternating. And so it's gonna be a total of about uh, six, about six, it'll be the total of six sun, sun salutations. And so uh, what we wanna do is that anybody who do know about sun salutations, a lot of people do them, but you wanna make sure that you're doing correct breathing when you're doing them, meaning that um, from the first movement, when you go back, you will be inhaling, and then you will alternate between inhaling and exhaling between every movement. So I'm going to give a couple of seconds for some more people to tap in. I'm going to try to do this more often for people who do want to do sun salutations. And um, uh, maybe morning Tai Chi, I'm going to try to do a mixture of sun salutations and Tai Chi maybe three days a week um, just to extend some of my energy, some of my knowledge, um, some of my nourishment, some of my growth, some of the things that I do to put me in a state of harmony with nature, with self other than all life around us. So I'm going to be sharing those things. Blessings, blessing gods and goddesses, grand rising, how y'all feeling? Um, so like I said, we're going to tap into these sun salutations in a second. Um, there's many, many benefits of it. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the purpose of working out, uh, meditation, yoga, and they all come together to be one whole overall benefit, and that is putting the mind, body, spirit, and emotions in balance and harmony with each other so that you can go out and you can broadcast, you can create, you can communicate with your reflections around the world, with nature around the world, and a more positive matter, and a more harmonic matter, and a matter that causes growth, vitality for all, versus just only yourself. And so that's the purpose of any workout. Um, you know, the lower self wants to work out for muscles, wants to work out for attraction, um, it wants to do yoga for attention, it wants to do meditation and be conscious for attention. But at our true self, the purpose of working out, of yoga, of meditation, they all have one focus to put the emotions, the, the mental body, the emotional body, the physical body, the spiritual body in balance so that you can communicate to the world, so you can create artistically, musically, in whatever way you desire, in a way that does not destroy, that does not bring chaos, that does not oppress self, other, and all life around. So we're going to get started, family. One little quick five-minute video. Whoever supports and loves it, I appreciate the energy exchanges to the PayPal. Here we go. Uh, we got the boy, our uh, Hennis. We got some we got some family with us. Yes, yes, How you good. feeling this morning? We got some sunlight, man. We've been in rain. We've been in the storm, man. Hurricane season, man. We're enjoying it. We're loving it. Loving each other. That's love. I'm, I'm appreciative that the brother put some light on me on this page. I know he gets a lot of love. People who know me as R or R Hennis are ready for R. I'm here sharing love with the family. Doing yoga. Yeah, we finna get it in. Yeah, yeah, so it's all love. Introducing our Hennis family. Y'all go add our Hennis. And we finna get it in. So we're finna get started. I'll be broadcasting another live soon, so this is just for a little yoga real quick. Sun salutations. And we got the goddesses in the background. Here we go. I wonder can they catch the whole would it be able to see? Can they see the whole? Yeah, they should be able to see all of them.
make it weak. Three steps. You're on one leg, you're on the other leg, alternating between the legs. Make sure you can still develop a good sweat, just from soaking up the energy. What you want to learn to do when you're doing sun salutation or any meditation or any workout, learn to feel instead of think. You are prior to thought, but not prior to feeling. You are the feeling of the universe. You are the energetic exchange of the universe. You are before your thought experience, but you have always felt love. You have always felt life. You have always felt the vibration of creation. Feel the least thought. All right, so I'm going to do, I was going to include the Tai Chi class, the Tao Dung Jin, which is standing meditation. So I'm going to include maybe like two or three minutes of that. And then I will do a little briefing about that in Okay, okay, okay. Peace, peace, peace. Family, hope y'all enjoyed that. Everybody who didn't get to see the whole thing, y'all can go back and rewind, record. Uh, you can copy it. And this way you will have to be able to have that exchange, to have this information, to be able to empower yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Gather your well-being and broadcast your life. Broadcast the true self into the world. Um, it's a couple of messages I got downloaded for y'all. Right now, I have, I've been fasting for the last, dry fast for the last 18 hours or so, so I'm going to go probably make me a strawberry smoothie or something like that. But the mess, mess, next message I got uh, for y'all that I'll be going live on is actually going to touch on and touch with what we just did and how important just that yoga and these breathing exercises attach to all life. If you look in any of the ancient religious books, whether it's Egyptian, whether it's Incan, whether it's Mayan, whether it's true Christian, whether it's Hindu, no matter the source, they all say in the beginning was the word or the vibration or the sound force of creation or the breath of life. And your job is to preserve the breath, the life force. I am the living light. I am the living breath. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and God was the word. You see? And the word, the word was God and God was the word. In the beginning was the breath. And breath was God. And God was the breath. Name words that exist without breath. So your job is to preserve the soul. To breathe. Your job is to preserve the breath of the body. 
And any time this breath has a problem in the body, any anytime you cease or you fail to preserve the breath in the body, you will have a disease. When you have, when you fail to preserve the bro the breath in the bronchial tube, it's bronchitis. When you fail to preserve the breath in the joints, you have joint problems, arthritis. When you fail to preserve the breath in the heart, heart disease. When you when when the breath fails to communicate with every cell, cancer. When you're lacking breath across the whole body as a whole, AIDS. The lack of breath is the only disease. And in every religious text, they tell you your job. That God is the breath. And your job, God is the breath of life. And your job is to preserve the breath of life as long as you can in this, in this body. And the only way to do that is to be a healthy expression of life. And to be a healthy expression of life, you must understand your breath. And how it relates to all the other breath around you. Meaning that everything in creation has breath or it would not exist. Every tree, every plant, every insect, every animal, the sky, everything that exists as a living organism, a sentiment being that has emotions, thoughts, a physical expression, and a solar body to communicate and broadcast through this world, they do this through the breath. So once you fail to communicate through the breath, once you fail to preserve the breath of the body, you start to disease. You start to get a disease. The body starts to dismantle. And this is what working out does. Working out increases the oxygen of the body. And this is why when you work out, it's important always to focus on the breath. Even in meditation, they tell you to focus on the breath. When you lose the breath, you lose yourself. You are the breath. And this is why when you eat raw foods, you eat raw food, fruits. These are the things that are most oxygenated. They contain the most breath, the most life force. And so when you're eating this, now you're filling the body with life. You're preserving the breath as much as possible. This is why it's important that we present raw foods to our organism as much as possible. This is why it's important that we return to our natural natural frugivore diet and we stop eating dehydrating foods because it's dehydrating you. Okay? So we're going to touch into these things. I ain't going to go too deep on it because I want to make this uh, more of a, just a sun salutation video so everybody go back and see the beginning. I love y'all. Anybody? Sen yeah, yeah. Sen sentient. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sentient. Thank you, fam. Um, yeah, just finished the workout. Still trying to get go give me some to drink. <laughs> but anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'm going to um, give y'all a broadcast. I might go back and do it today. Uh, everybody go back and look at the uh, sun salutation videos. Um, nourish your mind. Nourish your emotion. Nourish the physical body. And go out and broadcast love to the world. You are all that exists. There is no higher self to you. There is only the true self and lower than that. Peace, family.